Okay, so now we're gonna be looking at how we start to apply filters within DFX. So let's open up our file here, and I'm just gonna choose this one here and hit open. In the middle, we have our big viewer window here. Uh, and at the top, we can come in and zoom this down a little bit or zoom it up, depending on how we want it to. Uh, we can also zoom it to fit. So if it's too big, it's gonna scale down. And if it's like our sample image here, which is too small, it's gonna just scale that up. So I'm just gonna scale that back in. We have our magnifying glass as well. So if I want to zoom into a particular area, I can just click and drag an area and zoom in right there. Let's come back. I can also pan around using the pan tool. Uh, obviously this is much more useful when we start to uh, zoom in. And we're gonna to come to the rest of these icons here in later tutorials. But for now, let's take a look at how we start to apply our first filter. So down at the bottom here, we have a whole list of filter types in tabs down here. And underneath those, we have a list of the filters that we have in that particular type. So for example, in the film lab, we have things like uh, two strip, three strip, uh, overexposure. But let's have a look in the HFX diffusion category here. And we're gonna look at ProMist now. So what, as soon as I click on any of these filters, what happens is over on my right hand side here, we get a whole list of the different presets that we have available with those particular filters. Now we also have the opportunity to come in and use the parameters here to completely customize our effect. Uh, and we'll be doing that in a later tutorial. But uh, for now, let's take a look at the different presets we have here. So for the ProMist, I actually have a huge list of different types of ProMist filter. And we can actually see the strength of these subtly increase with each uh, preset we take. And then we've got the, the list of cool, ProMists. Then we've got the warmer ones as well down here warmer black, and having this flexibility to come in and change all this stuff up in post means that you don't have to carry as many filters with you when you're actually shooting. You can just dial in the strength of the filter that you want afterwards. And we could do something that's fairly small to begin with. I, th I think we'll stick with the black ProMist 3 over here. So if we move over to the left-hand side of the screen, we now have our effects over here as layers. So up here we can see the type of effect we have. It's a pro mist and we can even go in and customize that name if we want to. Um, black pro mist three. And this is gonna be really useful to, uh, to help define where our starting point was uh, if we're gonna reuse these effects, uh, which we can easily do again and again. Now just above the thumbnail, which shows the effect of the, uh, the filter we, we have applied, we have a number of buttons up here as well. So we have our edit, so we can choose which layer we want to edit. We can toggle the view compare button here to see a particular layer or layers in the uh, viewer. And we can turn the filter on and off using the filter enable button here. And I can also start applying masks, uh, but I'll do that again later. We then have a number of ways of starting to blend these layers together. And some of the advanced blending techniques I'll be taking a much greater look at again in a later tutorial. And this ability to be able to layer up and uh, mix in effects really quickly and really simply is such a great advantage of using the DFX filters. So I'm gonna just come up here and add another layer. And let's come into our film lab now. And let's take a look at our bleach bypass. And again, we have a whole number of different bleach bypass presets that we want to, uh, to look at. So we've got cooler ones down here warmer ones in the middle and the more neutral more desaturated ones right at the top so the effect i'm looking for here is probably something a little bit warmer so let's come in and take a look at what we have in warmth and i really like this one here this bleach bypass warm two and if i come up to our ab comparison tool Yep, I know I said we were gonna save this for later, but I couldn't resist. So uh, just this button here gives us a good before and after of our entire effect. So we can see over here, we've built up from our original 
with a bit of pro mist up here and added in a bleach bypass. And now I can come in even with this bleach bypass and just mix the effect back a little bit using the opacity slide control here. So I can take this to now 50% of what it was either by clicking on this arrow and then changing the slider or by clicking up and down on these here. So I can mix in the effect and really customize it for uh, what I want to do with the image. So again, if we click on this AB comparison, we've really changed our image up in a very short space of time. So now I'm happy to save this image and move on to the next one.